Hi, I'm Alison and I'm really excited that you can join me here today. Now I'm going to be here every Wednesday at 10 o'clock, hopefully as part of your homeschooling programme. And every Wednesday I'm going to be asking you, how are you feeling? Feelings are really important. We all have them and they're very important to us because they help us to make sense of the world around us and, and what's going on. We all have different sort of feelings. Sometimes we might feel a bit scared or, or, or anxious about things and sometimes we can even feel really, really mad. And sometimes we just feel a bit sad and, and down in the dumps. Sometimes we can feel really happy and it's okay to feel all of those things. Everyone does. At the minute, we all know we've got a lot going on around us and things are a bit strange and not like they used to be and they can seem a bit weird. For a start, we all have to stay indoors a lot more and that can be re make us feel really sad. A lot of people can't go to school and a lot of us can't do all of the nice things that we were used to doing. We all seem to have stopped and that can make us feel sad. And it's okay because everyone feels that way from time to time. I feel really sad at the moment about not being able to go to the cinema. I love going to the cinema and having my favourite ice cream. And I feel really sad that I can't do that at the moment. Now, when we feel sad, we might feel like we want to be on our own and just think about things. We might feel also like we've got something stuck in our throat, like a, a lump or something. We might also have a, have a trembly lip. And we, we might feel like, like crying. And that's okay. Because everyone cries and we all have those feelings from time to time. We can sometimes tell when our, when our friends or our families or mums and dads if they're feeling sad too. Sometimes they have a trembly lip too. And sometimes they might have a sad face with a downturned mouth like this. And sometimes they might hug themselves or they might sit with their head in their hands. And that's okay. That's how sometimes we deal with feeling sad. Now there's lots of reasons that you might feel sad. People arguing or being nasty or mean to each other, that might make you feel sad. And sometimes being in the situation we are now in lockdown, that can sometimes make feel, things feel a lot worse, make us feel really sad. It might have been a long time since you saw some of your family or your friends and you might miss them terribly and miss hugging them and that can make us feel sad. I feel sad about that too. We all do. We might feel really sad about not being able to go to school and see our friends and our teachers or even we might feel sad about missing our school dinners. Hmm, maybe not so much that. We do miss what we do every day and the things that we love to do. And in the moment, I think everyone feels sad about our old lives and we want them back. And sometimes we feel sad about this new situation. If we do feel sad, there are things that we can do that can sometimes actually make us feel better. The first thing you should do if you feel sad is talk to someone about it. Talk to a grown-up, explain how you feel and let them listen to you. And get your thoughts and your sad thoughts out of your head and that can make you feel better too, sharing your problems and your thoughts with someone. Also, if you tell someone at home how sad you feel and they're living in your house, you can sometimes have a big hug and that can make us all feel better. You could also close your eyes for a moment and think about happy thoughts and things that you used to do and will do again that make you feel happy. 
that can change our mood and make us feel really happy and not so sad anymore. You could also try writing down or maybe drawing a picture of your thoughts and why you feel sad. And putting those thoughts and feelings down on paper, they can make us make sense of it and make us feel better too. And of course, a really good way to feel better and not so sad anymore is to do something that you love. So how about you read a book or listen to some music, watch something on TV or a movie that you love, or you could even do some dancing, dance around the house or sing a song. All of those things can lift your spirit and make you feel a lot happier and get rid of those sad feelings. But it's also important to remember, even though you feel sad, you must remember that we are in a really difficult situation at the moment and you are doing a really good job. You're doing amazing. These are strange times. And it's okay to cry. It's okay to feel a bit down because sad feelings don't last for too long. Now, I feel much better for having talked to you. You see, I told you, talking to someone about how you feel sometimes does make you feel much better. Now, remember to do something that you really love, that makes you feel happy and to think happy thoughts. And you know what? I would really love to see some of those things. So if you'd like to post a picture in the comments below or maybe a video or just a little note to tell us some of the things that make you feel happy, we could all share that. And maybe we could try the two things and not feel so sad any longer. So remember, post your videos, post your photographs, do some of the things you love, think about some happy things and talk to someone and have a hug. I hope that's helped with feeling sad and I'll be back next week so until then stay safe.